What's up guys and welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. And today we're gonna be heading into the Golden Coliseum and earning ourselves up a big yellow paint star. Well, hopefully, if everything works out, we're just gonna go ahead and, oh no, I will not open the menu. I wanna go into the, th go, go Mario, go. Okay, so we already know that we were invited into the Coliseum, like somebody already pre-registered us. I know that like, chances are we'll find the boss fight in here. Uh, awfully dark in here, isn't it? They're really setting the stage. I can't wait to get to get medieval and crush my foes in a battle royal. I mean, I can't wait to watch you do those things. <laughs> Thank you, Healing. You always got my back from very far away. Very, very far away. You can barely see my back, but somehow you got it. Uh-oh, how much one of these shy guys will be gunning for me? Or not, okay. <laughs> of course the most friendly shy guys are at a battle royal, huh? Maybe they're just saving me for their competition in the out in the field so everybody can watch them defeat me. And then they get like a huge amount of notoriety for defeating Mario, right? That'd be pretty interesting. We're getting a lot of cool cards here though. Fully painted and everything, I'll take it. But uh, what are these two talking about? <laughs> I wanna fight in the battle royal, but I just don't know if I've got what it takes, you know? Bro, let me clear some things up for you. You don't have what it takes, to no, no offense. Oh. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay, I say, live your dreams. You, if you want to go out there, even if you get beat up a little bit, as long as you're not dying, you know, like that sort of the thing. You reek of self-confidence, and, and you have a face. You'd make it for a terrible shy guy. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, like you have a face. Storage removal of equipment prohibited. Hmm. Can we go in? Oh, what is this? this? Is another iron jump? Good, good, good. What is in here? Hmm. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this is so weird. I definitely left it right here. Um, how could you lose it? Do you even know how annoying it was to go to Marmalade Valley and steal it in the first place? Wait a minute, did they steal the dinosaur bones? Man, it was just here. It's gotta be in the Coliseum somewhere. Guys, guys, calm down and focus. Yeah, focus. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on here. This is so weird, okay. They're just gonna... And they're just sort of looking at the spot, hoping it pops back up. This is really weird. Um, what are they looking for exactly? I guess they stole something. Can I get up here? Like, what is this about? Well, not really much. Hmm, okay, there's nothing hidden in these crates. But yeah, I mean, the last time we fought a boss was Morton, and I'm guessing that, and that was at a big paint store area, so I'm guessing that this will, we already read this, will be another Koopalings, Koopa Bros, whatever they are. So will we need another thing card that I don't currently have? I just kn know I could win the Battle Royal if I had the right weapon. Oh man, who am I kidding? I never, I would never make it past the entry quiz. There's an entry quiz? Uh, well, can I, can I maybe try it out, get past you? I guess not. So I guess you could choose a weapon now. I wonder if Mario will be able to. That's his style, I mean, he already has one. So you had the, the paint hammer, so maybe he just doesn't need it. Hmm, dressing room number one. Okay, so it looks at this dressing room as well. There's like a whole thing to explore here. A whole backstage area. I like it. All right, so what are we gonna find in here? Oh no, whoa, pink. I've never seen pink ones. Shy, shy, shy. Yeah, what is happening? Um, My guys are pumped and ready to fight. Just look at them. I guess. <laughs> I want you cheering as hard as you can for the shy quiz, got it? What? Shy, I guess they're saying shy guys. It's supposed to be like a, like a cheer. Shy guys, shy guys. <laughs> that is so silly, but cute at the same time. Never seen a pink shy guy. Uh, dressing room number two, let me fill this up. Definitely they give you like some opportunities to get some free cards, good amount of coins, so you can go and buy some if you need it. I'm definitely feeling some foreshadowing that this is not gonna be easy, it's gonna be very lengthy, which is not a bad thing. So then, the guy turns, so then the guy turns around and starts running, right? And I can just tell, he's shaking in his boots. The champ is circling in, and this guy isn't even looking at him. He's looking at the ground. Next thing you know, he turns around, sprints under the champ's legs, and runs for the back wall. No way. What happened next? <laughs> He's drinking his little coffee. That's so cute. Guys, I'm right here. Stop talking about me in the third person. <laughs> Aw, who's the champ? Oh, now I'm curious. That's really cool. So we talked to somebody who fought the champ, and he, he got scared and ran away. Uh, this is my dressing room, but I'm locked out right now. Good sign before my big fight, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's definitely locked. Maybe I can help you out a little bit? There's another yellow shy guy. They seem to be like the officiators. Welcome to the Battle Royale pre-screening desk. I'm here to weed out the unqualified. 
Now, this is gonna be really easy. I'm just gonna ask you one question. Are you bad to the bone? Of course. Now, just a minute. That may have been confusing because sometimes bad means good, right? Now, let me rephrase. Would you say you have a bone to pick with your enemies? Have you boned up on various battle techniques? They're, they're referencing the skeleton. Can you feel it in your bones? You catch my drift? What? Oh, is that so? Well, no bones about it. You're not qualified to fight. Come back when your inventory isn't so bare bones. In the meantime, the spectator seats might be a better fit for you. I think there's a few things, I'm like they're definitely trying to nudge me one way of saying, you're not ready to do this fight yet, you need to do A, B, and C, and I think A, B, and C is going to be going back, and you know, we got the thing card for, um, you know, luring Princess in, in the last episode, which was the bone. I think we need that, and then we need to go back to the uh, Marmalade Valley, or whatever it was, yeah. Marmalade Valley, and doing that. Can we just walk into here now? Oh, I guess we can. The spectator seats are this way, watch your step, there's a lot of disgruntled losers in there. Dude, you're just so just poor, uh, poor attitude. You can take the stairs to get to the upper deck. Just watch out for folks who already washed, washed out of the battle. They're not happy about it. <laughs> okay then, so we're we gonna run into our own battles just right here in the, the stadium and the, in the spectators? That'd be a little interesting. Hmm, so what is this sign? It stands third level. So we, uh, uh, oh yes, <laughs> there's just bad guys running around just willing to beat up anybody, any like, what What was that noise? That was not a pleasant noise. Okay, Red Sniffits, you've you've thrown me off with your scary noise, now I get to beat you up with a hammer. I hope you, you, you're happy about that. Here, oh, got it. And then one more time, that's gonna lower him and then we just need to get a good shot on you, and that was good. Perfect bonus, here it comes. <laughs> All right, good stuff. No, no, we're getting closer. Like our, our hammer upgrade is happening so fast. I don't know what the max hammer upgrade is, but I'm excited to see. And there's a lot of paint spots. Like the 100% the must be like really difficult for this area then. Can we like point out here or peek out? Oh wow, what in the world is going on? Whoa, we made it to the outer wall. Check out the view. Uh, I would love to. Um. Oh, ninja style, I like it. What in the world is happening? We got these little booble bobbles. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's not anything here. What happens if I hit these guys? Are they our enemies? I don't know if I wanna try or just, ah, whatever. Okay, it is an enemy, so you can actually battle these. I'll do it for, you know, the first time experience. What are these guys got? Um, there's something. Let me try to get something that might actually be able to take care of multiple of them. We'll try something I haven't really tried before. Which should be, um, whatever this is called. The iron hammer, which apparently he throws it. And if that's the case, oh my, whoa. That worked out way better than I thought, but it still didn't do as much damage as it needed to. Okay, very cool. And I'm guessing we don't wanna hop on guys like this. So if I could, hmm, find another hammer. Let's do that and that. Wait, hold on, I gotta paint him. All right, that should be enough. I don't think we'll need any more than that. They're all very low, but they're all fuzzies, which is cute. So fuzzy. Whoa, got that. And then we'll take care of these two guys, just like that, and we're good. And they're fuzzies taken down. Interesting experience, worth the worth the effort put into it. Uh, whoa. Oh, look, we got another upgrade. It's gonna be 320, right? <laughs> good, good, good. If we can get a frequency of an upgrade for episode, I wouldn't mind. All right, Max Payne up. What? Okay, I missed that one, which is good. All right, let's get across to here. And we can't sneak through that just yet. So that's about there. all we can do here. Oh, whoa, it's a Hammer Bros. Hey, Hammer Bro, you're new. Here, hold on. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> right in the kneecap. How are you gonna be able to throw well if you can't step into it? I've, I just completely ruined your strategy. You really don't even have knees, do you? You just go from straight from body to feet. <laughs> All right, we'll try the double jump on him, and then just try a normal jump. I don't know how strong he's gonna be. Uh, we'll try it. <laughs> Did he ask if we needed a contractor a second ago? I guess, I mean, he is a hammer, bro. <laughs> he probably is pretty handy. There you go, is that enough? Oh, okay, I'm glad I got that extra jump. All right, he is pretty cool, though. Beat him up pretty well, though. Like, not that big of a threat, but I think it's cool to see Hammer Bros. We've, we're starting to see more and more of a large variety of enemies, which is great, because I was worried that, you know, we'd sort of see a lot of the same, like, consistently, but 
so far, that's not the case. There's a pow block. This is, ooh, one out hammer times five is always good to see. Can we? We cannot. Whenever they have dot, dot, dots over there, it looks like you can actually talk to them instead of fighting them. You couldn't get me in that ring. Well, you couldn't get me in that ring. Nope, when it's my time to go, I wanna go out with dignity. Getting stomped by Mario or Luigi, of course. <laughs> so I'm guessing like this, wait, like that. So I'm guessing like he does not wanna go out in the stadium because it's just like, how is that not? Dignitas, that's, that's not a word. All right, we got hammer times two though, which is pretty cool. All right, now we got these guys. Now that I've actually faced one, I don't need to face one again and actually feel like I'm missing out on an experience, so let's go, go, go. Oh man, that was actually not too bad, the dodge now. You would think it'd be a little difficult, but so far not too bad. I'm liking this a lot. Like, I thought that we would just go right into the Colosseum, but I have a feeling we'll need more stuff. This is the third floor nosebleed section. Yeah, you probably couldn't even see the battle from here. Hmm, well, yeah, let's plop down here. This is very cool though. This might be one of my most favorite areas so far, just because it's so different, it's interesting, it's intense almost. Sand second level. Hmm, I don't know if this is where I wanna be right now, because there's definitely more areas we can adventure. Sniff it, can you sniff off? <laughs> you know, just sniff, you know, like a hot dog or something. I'm sure they have like those hot dog sounds, like hot dog, get your hot dog here. I don't want one, because I don't know. Hot dogs, I don't know, I get sick of hot dogs very easily. Hmm. What should we use here? Let's go ahead with just more hammers. I mean, they usually work out quite well. All right, enjoy your hammers, Mr. Shy Guys. Oh, I don't know if, oh wow, two for one there. Okay, nice. So that actually worked out better than I thought. I didn't think we were gonna be able to take care of the first two Shy Guys like that so easily, but we did. But we didn't get the special glittery hammer for that one, but we still got a little bit of progress. The progress bar just fills up so quick. Let's break this, oh gosh. <laughs> the spiny shiny, shi spiny shinies. <laughs> the spiny shy guys. Get that. Oh, it's another place hammer. That might actually be helpful. Like, I don't trust this. Like there's too many places to go. Way too many places to go indeed. How do we get across this? What is going on here? What is the catch? Hmm, I don't like this. Is this an unfurl? Oh no. Uh-oh. So I can't get across here. Oh, I see. Probably on the other side, we can find an unfurl block. Or yeah, and then we can just hit it and then it'll knock it out. Okay. We could manage that. Look at all the people at the back of that is so cool. So like I guess the view is out this way and not that way. I thought it was out that way. I was getting a little confused, but okay, you know what? Fine. I hit you first, though, I hit you first. So it's like what, five different, like spike guys is what they're called, right? It is red spike guys, which I think we've gone against before, but it just a different situation. Hmm. And then I guess I'll use, if I have another triple hammer, that'd be great, but I don't think I do. Hmm. I'll just use a normal hammer then. And let's see how that works. Can't squish me, I don't have to, because I'll pow block you, ha <laughs> ha. All right, boom. Boom. Oh, that didn't do a ton. Oh, bada boom. Whoa, -ho! nice. Took care of all four of them. Wasn't expecting that, I'll be honest. All right, let's get all this stuff and this paint. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, ooh, a one up mushroom. You don't see those too often in this game. I mean, they're not really particularly helpful. We have yet to need one. There's not anything over here. Okay, so that's at least this part of the second floor. They could sort of sneak on by here. And there's two Koopas talking, I'm gonna eavesdrop. Mario the eavesdropper. Did you hear? The winner of the big battle royal is getting some fancy star thing. I heard they're still waiting for the sacrificial lamb. Really? Supposed to be some guy named Mario, never heard of him. It, excuse me? I'm right here, rude. So it's weird that there are people in the Mushroom Kingdom who have not heard of Mario though. So somewhere around here is an unfurl block. And maybe it's just, Maybe we'll be able to find the missing bones here. I feel like we should go back to the, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, hey Goomba, this is the third floor nosebleed section. Oh yeah, we just talked to you. Okay, so, oh, there's the unfurl block. Okay, let's get across to here. Man, how are we gonna make that? That's a lot of distance to cover. Well, I mean, I guess it isn't too much. Hmm, we'll give it our best shot. Yeah, I, guess, I mean, the whole best way is to try. I'm trying to see if there's like maybe any other area around here, but. 
Unfurling. Ooh, go, go, go. And then we gotta plop down here, and then it's right down there. Come on, I got ten, oh, we got 10 seconds left. Oh, we got it, plenty of time. Plenty of time. Bada boom. What is that gonna do? Oh, yay, exactly what I was expecting. So we can even take a little shortcut here, too. How helpful. Nice, nice. Okay, these guys are not pleasant. Okay, we got it, we got it. We got more, like we get so much stuff around here. I don't know if I want a hop slipper, but we have it if we ever decide to need it. Wow, I, that was a little close, I gotta say. So here's another staircase. Is this the same staircase? This is a different one. I'm a little turned around then. Stands first level, oh, we're in the first level now, cool. Let's get these coins, and I see a shy guy here. No, 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 here, hold on, can we take you out? Huh, so we can take out Goombas with one hammer slap at this point, but you can't with shy guys. Oh my, they got like the whole entourage here. Maybe I should just run away. I don't know. Hmm, or maybe I could use, I'll use this. Will it be a waste, who knows, we'll find out. Ready? Ooh. Oh, that could have been better, I will be honest. That was excellent though. Ooh, I even damaged him way back there, and we still got three more, so I think we got this. I think we got it. There's another great one, and then one more to finish him off. Another perfect bonus. I don't think we've had a non-perfect battle so far today. I think it's all been perfects. I like to see it, I like to see it. Oh, there's another sparkly one. Sparkly ones really help. There's a whole row of Goombas here. <laughs> they look like they're getting ready for something. Hmm. I can't go through, no I can, I can. Can you, no, 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 I just wanna fill this up. Come on, give me that, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to fight any of you guys right now. I just want the question blocks. No, follow me. Follow me over here. Whoa, okay, at least it's easy to dodge it for the most part. Ooh, a big hammer. Definitely worth all that effort then. And we'll go this way, because there's no way to go over here. Uh-oh. Wait, is this the way we came from? No. This isn't the way we came from. Yeah, this definitely isn't. Oh, oh gosh. Wait, how do we get down there? Oh, I see. I think I see how we're gonna do that. We'll do that in a second for sure, but for right now, we gotta keep on keeping on through here. So I don't wanna miss a single thing in this Coliseum if I can handle it. And this has been like a big level so far too, plenty to explore. I mean, this is apparently is only a portion of it. What are you guys, oh, we got the, the five tuple Goomba. We're just simple country Goombas, here to watch some family friendly paint shed. That's not family friendly. <laughs> At least I guess not to you guys, right? I wouldn't think, but is it interesting? Like, did they all talk at once? Wouldn't that be really loud? Did they, did they ever get off sync and then it's just impossible to make out what they're saying? <laughs> okay, see ya. Maybe they'll be a part of it. Maybe they'll join in. And a fire flower. Good, good, good. Is this another unfurl? Sure looks like it. Hmm. I don't know where we're gonna find another unfurl block. There's not the unfurl symbol on it, though. Whoa. Oh, okay then, I was wrong then. I thought you could shortcut from over there. Well, you can. Hold on. Oh no, I know what to do. Guys, 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 calm down and focus. Oh, it's those guys again. <laughs> and the Goombas, okay, I know how to get over there. We gotta do the other way around. So what is this door? I am a little lost, where did this door lead? Is this a weapon area? Ah, it is. This is it, this thing looks super dangerous, but no one's ever had any luck against a champion with it. What is it? These are all things. Ah, okay. Wait, 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 how do I squeeze it? Uh, squeeze. What in the world? It's a poker, <laughs> it's a screwdriver. Oh, got it. All right, so I think it's a screwdriver, it's an ice pick. Okay, I was wrong. Its pointing tip can chip ice perfectly portion into perfectly portioned pieces for any ice glass or any size. I can't read. I lost the ability again. What about you, what are you looking at? I wonder what, how you use this one. What are you looking at exactly? Uh, let's squeeze this one. And are those like fireworks or like spears? I don't know if we can squeeze those. And this is, oh, this is a can opener, ain't it? This is definitely a can opener. It is a bottle of, you know what I'm saying. Uh, harnesses the principle of leverage to pry off bottle caps. Uh, too many cards. Ugh, come on, get rid of that hop slipper. I told you it was gonna happen. Trash the hop slipper. Hmm, can we get this? I don't know, these little things right here. I guess they're sort of looking at the made out of paper, so maybe they don't count. 
Okay then. Let's get back up here. Cause we've, we, well I don't think we've been up here. I don't know, it's really confusing. Definitely like, it's a maze almost. Ah, okay, now we're all the way around here. Get, oh, I can't carry it, I know, I know. So this isn't unfurling, but we can just sort of get it back around. So the idea now is not to go back, but to actually head down here. Cause if you look, oh look, the, oh there they are. I was like, hey, they're gone. But no, they're still over there. Cause I'm getting a little confused here. So you can see that this one doesn't have any spikes under it. And that's for a specific, oh, got him. I got him, that was good. So only if they hit you. I'll have to keep that in mind. It looks like, bada boom. I'm figuring it out. I'm paying attention, I'm making progress. Shh, I'm spying on these guys to get a few t tips for my next battle. You want in? Sure. Are you, oh, are you not gonna give me any of the tips? You're just gonna gather it for myself at this point? So they're looking for bones of some sort. Uh, oh, I think these are the guys doing the Shy Guy cheering. We're the Shy Guys' first fans. We pre debut groupies. That's the highest level of groupie. <laughs> I love it, it's so cute. Uh, I hope they do well in the first, in the, in the Battle Royal. My self-esteem is entirely based on them. <laughs> it's so cute, I love that. And you'll never guess what happened when he got to the back wall. He started attacking boxes like they were enemies or something. Like, he, was he looking for something? What's in this boxes? No one knows. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, maybe there's something actually in the boxes. Talk about losing your cool. Hey, I really wanted to know what was in those boxes, okay? Jeez, just keep beating up on the poor guy. Ah, I see. It's where we can unlock the one guy's room. That's nice of us. All right, so what's going on in his room? I hope there's not anything crazy. Oh, hey! Hello, Mario, we have something for you. We received the report that one of the precious fossils from Marmalade Valley was stolen. Using sophisticated toad treasure tracking technology, we tracked it here. Is that reference to the toad tracker game that I haven't played? And here it is. Oh, it's the one we gave to Princess. Uh, I was told that you'd be quite pleased with this result, so don't hold back. You can give me a hug if you'd like, or hug the bone if you prefer. I was told that's a thing you might do as well. Who's telling you this stuff? All right, let's squeeze it. Oh, I get it, because I'm squeezing it. I'm giving it a hug. <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe that toad just really wants a good hug. Maybe he's going through something. Should we hug him? I mean, I don't see the problem, but we got a bone, a favorite snack of, the round, of round pets with sharp teeth, high in calcium. I, I may be... What if we need to use it to call in Princess to help us with this boss fight? That might just be what happens. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out what I should get rid of. Definitely something, but what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Definitely no big jumps or anything like that. I think I'll get rid of a normal jump. Oddly enough, I'm starting to run out of room for him. All right, there you go. Now I have enough room for that. That's nice and good. What about you two? Wow, you wrung that out like a washcloth. What a feat of strength. And with that, <laughs> yellow rescue, rescue toads two, three, and four over and out. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must report to my captain in the sacred forest immediately. So those are one, two, three, four, five toads in total we have now found. Very good. Let's go ahead and start breaking this stuff. I definitely want to see what will happen if we break the crates in the Coliseum, because at this point, it sort of seems like it's alluding towards, you know, something, because everything in this game usually alludes to something in that way. Uh, were those three yellow toads in my dressing room this whole time? I feel so violated. Well, you're allowed in now. I guess you don't care. Well, we could go on in. I guess we don't really need anything from Marmalade Valley. We'll get to the Battle Royal pre-screening desk, blah, blah, blah. We're just gonna talk about the bones. Of course, I am bad to the bone. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see, let me rephrase. Would you have a bone to pick with your enemies? Have you boned up on various battle techniques? Can you feel it in your bones? You catch my drift? Yes, bone. Battle Royale! <laughs> Hooray! Uh, all right, you're gonna be a real bone cruncher out there. I just know it. And these guys have a lot of confidence in me. Sometimes shy guys don't seem like all that bad dudes. Just hop on the elevator and it'll go and take you where you need to go. Good luck out there. And thank you. I'll take that good luck. Oh gosh, Mario looks up like, well, here we go again. Going into the clutches of death as always. Look, Mario, there it is. Oh, the big paint star. Ah ha ha ha! I guess he's just happy. He fell for it. I've really repainted you. I've really painted you in a corner now, Mario. Welcome to the battle royal, the last fight of your life. Who said that? Everyone said that. Oh no! Oh, they're all attacking me. Okay, you want to go? You want to go? Let's go! Oh, 
What the world is happening? I want to fight all of them. Go on, put your nukes up, Mario. Put them up. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Tear them apart. 50 coins, whoever brings them to me, Mario's hat. 50 coins, I can earn that in like, a, like 10 minutes. No, I'll pay you double if you give the hat back to me. So we got a Koopa Trooper Hammer Bro Spike, Hammer Bro Spike, Spike. Okay. What do we want to do about this? I don't want to use a spike if he's holding I don't want to use a jump if spike is holding up a thing, so. Holy cow. Let's go ahead and try more of these iron hammers. Maybe a big hammer, too? I don't know, this is spooky. All right, are you guys ready? Ooh. Oh, there you go, we're gonna go, boom, boom, boom. Not enough to take everybody out, but hopefully the big hammer will be able to return that. Okay, it didn't take care of everybody. Ouch, 32 damage. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> I would definitely use a mushroom. And then maybe since, oh, you know what I could use? I could just use a, a line jump, because I have plenty of those. And I think that would be helpful for the situation, like w almost too many line jumps. There you go. And I think I'll be able to bounce between them well enough that it'll help out. There are so many though. Like, is this really what I gotta do? Maybe I gotta take out a group of them, and it's like the spiny area, where I have to, ooh, no, he's still alive. Stop it, stop being evil and good. Or not good, but like as in good at not, you know, being beat up by me. Let's use the mushroom first. We gotta always make sure we use the mushroom first because if we win the battle afterwards, it doesn't really count. And then we should be able to just use a normal jump if we have one. Yep, we have one more. We also have like seven kabillion spinies for whatever reason. All right, my cards are ready. Go ahead and do that. Oh man, this is a little crazy. Like I was not expecting this. <laughs> a little out of left field. There you go, we got him. So I can just sort of stop the jump there. Maybe it'll drop a star now like it did with all the spinies in Kuno Temple though? Uh, oh boy, it did not. Oh man, how am I gonna get all this? No, I'm not getting it. What in the world do I do? Well, the uh, Mario is still fighting while he survive. Is it possible to take care of every single person? I feel like I should give it an honest shot. <laughs> Okay, so there's nobody I have a fear of hopping on and actually taking damage because of it. So let me sort my cards really quick. Hmm. And then I will also, I guess get a normal hammer out. So I got a triple jump and a normal hammer. And let's see how this works out. Ready? Boop, boop. All right, well, there's the Goomba gone. Can I get rid of Mr. Hammer Bro with one jump? Ah, uh, probably not. Uh oh, I think I've made a great mistake. Come on, ooh, that was an excellent though, that's gonna help, bada boom. Ooh, I took care of both of those guys as well. These guys are still in it. Hammer Bros are definitely some of the more difficult enemies we've ran into. Like Spike here isn't very easy, but <laughs> he does one damage, so that's not, I'm not as scared about that. Okay, let's just do two more hammers. Gonna color those up and send them in. Oh man, this is like by far the craziest thing. There you go, another excellent. I'm getting better at timing that. I'll, I'll, I'm now gonna mess it up every single time. So, probably shouldn't say that, but I got it, it was good. There's another battle done. Hmm. Can I actually pick up the rewards this time? No way. Man, the game lags out with everything that's going on. Um, no, I don't wanna escape. I guess I could just leave at any time. How is it really all that much of a trap then? Oh man, I wanna go for this stuff, but look at everybody freaking out. <laughs> that is just silly. Oh man, ah, uh, Mario's taking on another group. Yeesh, fight smarter, not harder. I'm trying here, it ain't easy. What can I do about this? Like I tried to, I, I don't have enough time to, what's it called? Let's use a flame hammer. And then I'll use a big hammer. But I don't have enough time to use like, you know, the cutout move to see if there's anything I can cut out, but. Hmm. The hammers are definitely being a big help. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so cool. Oh, I messed that up though, I really messed that up. These guys do way too much damage, 32 unblocked. Oh gosh, we got the almost dead music. Here, give me another mushroom. And I just, I, I'll try different strategies if I can after this, but I mean, I'm a little lost. Here, let's, um, we'll use a hammer for him because honestly, I don't think a, uh, what's it called? A jump is actually gonna get the job done. So let's hope this does. Let's restore, restore 40 health, to put me back to 62. And then, ready, I need to make this good. Oh, gosh darn it, this guy just won't, he has no chill. I need you to have some chill here, dude. 
Whoa, here it is. I was so right. Oh, scrap Mario about a super star. Oh my gosh. I was so wrong. Look at everybody running. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I know I should have believed in that toad. Look at him. Go, get them all, get them all. Okay, oh my gosh, we're gonna run out of time if we're not careful. Everyone's gonna turn on us. Oh, got him. Oh man, I just need one more, or a few more here. Look at them all freak out. Mario uses his performance enhancing power up to cheat his way to victory. Performance enhancing. Oh my gosh. We did it. We won. I don't know what we do now. Whoa, whoa, big old e camera or squeak camera whatever it might be. Uh-oh. It's a massacre. Oh, it's a paint bath. Mario, the war criminal, emerges victorious. But now it's time for the main event. The winner takes home the yellow big paint star. Introducing your opponent, the master disaster, the spe spectacle spanker, the Coliseum champion. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa! Oh my gosh, it's Iggy! That is so cool! He's got the crazy eyes going on, and they're riding around him. Whoa, don't get dizzy. Oh my. I don't know what kind of voice I'm gonna give Iggy. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! No, really, can we get a mirror over here? Oh, forget it. Let's shred this paper pusher. I guess that's good enough. Oh gosh, we're just going right into the boss fight. Okay. Let's do it. Going against Iggy. So anyway, I'm Iggy. I'll be a first frustratingly overpowered opponent today. First? What do you mean first? What do you mean first? Let's see what you're made of, pretty boy. Oh my. Okay, I'm hitting the desk accidentally. Come at me. Uh, oh, he has the scepter. All right, so. What am I gonna do here? Let's use a big hammer. I actually need a mushroom first. So let me get a mushroom and a big hammer and just sort of prepare with this. This music is almost like, like when it gets to the little trumpet part, it feels almost Dragon Ball-like. Sort of cool. Okay, ooh, ready? Ooh, that was great. That actually did. That did a leg worth of damage. This is pretty nice. Ow, there goes my mushroom I just used, right? Oh man. All right, how do we want to handle this then? Let's just do a double giant hammer. How's that? How's that for pain? Maybe we can do a little bit better here. Let's see. Oh man, I could have done that better. I was almost there. Ready? No, oh, I stink. Well, we're really tearing him up right now. Okay, so you're not a complete waste of paint. Eyes on the prize, boys. Let's show them the real power of our chariots. <laughs> chariots. Trying to give him like a weird accent, just because it's fun. Ah, I'll let my minions wreck you for a while while I go for a le oh, leisurely, yeah, leisurely drive. Okay, you do what you need to do. <laughs> we got Chariot Sniffit and Chariot Brow. Hmm, maybe if we use a POW block, maybe that would be effective. Let's try that. I mean, maybe now would be a good opportunity to get some heals up, but let's first use a POW block. They ride away. Oh, and there is actually timing. Nope, you can't touch the chariots. What? Then what were we supposed to do? Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay, we're able to do a little bit there. How are we gonna hit their chariots? Oh, he's back. What's the matter, Mario? Battle Royal not going the way you thought it would? Well, it's about to get even worse. Line him up, boys. Okay, so let's try for maybe a, a, like a, hmm. Let's try if we have a setup. Maybe I don't. Unless I didn't, I actually didn't scroll far enough. Let's go ahead with uh, a line jump and a triple worn out boot and just sort of see how that works. I don't know if it's gonna work out well at all. We gotta hope, right? Ready? What? It, hmm. The attack was even a pal block miss. Denied, you can't touch the chariots. Then I'm not trying to touch your chariots. That's the thing. Weird. Ah, these chariots are such a good investment. Cool. Oh boy, he is tough. Both these guys hit hard. Uh, don't smack it. Oh, you better be, you better not do that. Mario might smack back. What should we do? Should we use the bone now? I don't wanna waste it if we do, but I mean, I guess if we waste it, we can just die and then come back. Like, I don't know if this is where we're supposed to use it. Like, we made really fast progress is a thing. But I guess we'll just go for it. Let's use the bone and see if we can't call in Precious. 
I don't know though, because we also got the ice pick and we also got the thing, the, the bottle opener, but how would either of those be useful right now? Oh, let's just go for it. All right, I don't know. All right, so there's our health back. And then here's this. Let's see what happens. Oh my. Here you go, catch! Oh my gosh, it's working! Get him, princess, you got it! Oh my gosh, it worked! Ha <laughs> ha, nice! <laughs> How was that? Uh-oh, okay, we're back. You know more chariots, oh man! The sales guy told me the chariots were invincible. I want a Wii Fund. All right, you can get a refund or a Wii Fund. <laughs> Nintendo Wii Fund. All right, so uh, how do I want to do this? Uh, let's get a squeak hammer, because I never ever use those things. And then I'm gonna get an iron jump maybe. Or maybe just a double hammer. Do we have any more giant moves? Let's get the giant jump. But that's what I'm using, it's actually working out quite well. We got the e-camera, ready, set, ooh. Oh, I stink at that every time. I, okay, luckily that did some good damage even though I truly, truly messed it up. Oh, blocked that one as well. So I guess that's really what we were supposed to do. I mean, I guess these other thing cards will go will come in handy at some other point in time, but I think we can finish them off with this. This is health is uh, a lot more of the hair than I was expecting, because I honestly am now realizing the amount of height that goes into his hair. Oh man, he is looking a little wiggly though. Oh, I think we got him. I think we got him. We beat him. That was actually probably easier than Morton, or about the same. I want to, maybe not easier, but definitely about the same. Ugh. I lost my on my own turf. That's embarrassing. Well, I guess you can take this big paint star now. Shut it down, show's over. Well, he actually, sort of, <laughs> a fair loser. You know, he wasn't a sore one. <clears throat> is this thing on? Uh, today's winner is Mario! Ha <laughs> ha, we win! Look at us, we're the champion of the crowd. Put your hands or equivalent of benches together for our new champion. Thanks again for coming out today, folks. As a reminder, your ticket purchase is legally obligated for you to visit the gift shop for a minimum of 25 minutes. That's gonna be a long line. Wow. <laughs> All right. I feel like that was easier than the red one, but maybe I'm wrong. Mario will be going home today with a shiny yellow big paint star. Congrats, Mario. Come on now, let's go get it. All right, cool, 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 we did it. That was an interesting turn of events for sure, no matter what. We get ourselves a big old paint star. Oh, so cool. So, this is gonna be our second one ever. You got a big paint star. Very cool. Let's ride this home and let's see if this actually colors up the spot in Mustard Cafe. Hopefully. We're gonna be flying around. I love this music. Yeah, da 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 da. Yeah, da 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 da. Now it's gonna do the coin. I feel like it's like the world's best elevator music. Like, if I got into an elevator and this music was playing, like, I'd have to, like, go up and down a few times so I could soak it in and enjoy it. Look at that, there goes the coin. So now we can explore Mondo Woods a bit more. But what about the big yellow spot at what's it called? Are we gonna get any closure for that one? And here we are, back in the fountain. Whoa, it's big. Is it bigger than the other one? Or maybe that was just a weird perspective? Maybe you can change its size. There you go. The fountain is now two-sixths of the way done. We did it, the yellow big paint star has been returned to Prisma Fountain. Hooray! Mario, and you too, Huey. Thanks for saving me. I'm the yellow big paint star. My memory is a little better than the red big paint stars. <laughs> that guy's a total dork. Allow me to get you up to speed. Before Bowser scattered us across the land, his underlings showed up. Oh, really? Oh, man, I love these flashbacks. They're so cool. This is like such a cool way to put together the story. Uh-oh. So everybody is destroying the place. The sign is tilted. Oh, this is what happened with the mail toad. Oh, gosh. It's a little a little crazy, what you think? He just folds him up, then stamps him. Did they very purposely mailed him the Mario? Oh, and they broke the bridge. We were called out. Okay. So Kamek, Kamek was the one who mailed it, mailed it to Mario. So they're calling Mario out for something. This is all a lore. Oh no. Oh no! Luckily we already saved those guys. No worries, no worries. It's all in the past. 
And that's how it happened. No way. So it was Bowser's underlings who drained that toad of color and mailed him to you guys. They must have sent that letter to Lori, yeah, that's what I said, to Lori to Port Prisma so they could kidnap Princess Peach. Oh yeah, it's always about the princess, never about Mario. Okay, if we can just keep finding the big paint stars and piecing these memories together, Bowser's evil plan should become clear. Oh. All right, without further ado, let's celebrate the return of the yellow big paint star. Everyone get crazy. Will there be the same dance? Ooh. Oh no, it's a different one. Oh, that's cool, they had the little like Egyptian the little Egyptian dance, the Prisma Prance dance. Even Mario boogies down. I love that so much, except for, okay, the Professor's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, Professor's like one of my favorite characters now. Look at him go. That's really cool then. <laughs> Look at Mario. Oh, and there's Princess too. All right, we got another health upgrade then, right? Uh, I guess so. Yo! All right, max HP up. That's gonna bring it from 75 to 100, the triple digits are now here. Very cool, so that's about it, right? What else do you have to say? Um, Would you like to see our memories? No, I'm good, I figured it out. So I think that's a good spot to leave it off. I mean, like it feels like a very complete episode, right? We were able to go ahead and go to the Coliseum, check it out, fight in the Coliseum, do all that kind of cool stuff and just be successful with it. That was nice and fun. And then, you know, we were able to get the boss fight, get the big yellow big paint started. This thing seemed to work out well. So in the next episode of Paper Mario Color Splash, we'll be sure to uh, go and check out Mondo Woods again. We'll check out uh, Marmalade Valley for sure. We've been meaning to do that. Bunch of stuff still left to do, so we're not sort of left on a cliffhanger of like, what do we do next? We definitely know. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Paper Mario Color Splash. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point of the video, make sure you comment yellow zebra so I know you've watched the video and that you are a zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.